Okay folks, we're here at 122 Spur with a home inspection review and everything on the home looks in really good shape as you expect. Fairly new construction, uh, so no major issues at all. Exterior looks in really good shape. Uh, stucco looks good. Most of the siding is either a cement fiber, very resilient product, or some wood trim. All of it looks in good shape though. Tile roof um, is in good shape. No broken tiles that we can see no signs of any leaks in the attic and then above the front porch and garage is a metal panel roof and that's a very bulletproof system as well uh, we're going to walk around to the right side here show you some of the utilities you have your gas meter over here main gas shut off valve if that were for an emergency you'd want to shut that valve off uh, if you smelled gas or that for a major earthquake or for whatever reason. This valve here just shuts off the gas supply to the backyard for the barbecue and cool heater. Uh, you have your main electrical panel, 200 amp panel, pretty standard, actually 225. Um, most of your GFCI protection, which is sensitive breakers for your uh, electrical outlets near water sources, are now on the panel as by newer code. So you'll see these purple outlets are all what they call GFCI protected. That's gonna protect you against electrocution around water sources. The other breakers that are at the white test button are called arc fault breakers. And that's gonna protect you against accidental fires from appliances or lamps that may have a bad cord, even if you're not aware. And you, you may have seen one in the past in a current home where it arcs um, when you're plugging it in. This is gonna cut the power. So this protects the lights and plugs to most of the house as well as some appliances. If for some reason you're losing light or power, come down to the panel, you'll see one of these in a half position. Pull it down, put it back up. That's a safety device, it did its job. Uh, again, solar opera or solar electric panels. All the solar panel installation looks good. We don't check the uh, the solar system as as a whole to see how it's operating. So you want to get as much information from the current owners as you can on that. Concrete driveway looks in good shape. Uh, the tile going for the sidewalk up is in good shape. There's some minor cracking. And some of the grout joints but other than that uh, which you'll see across here but that's just normal settling um, that grout can be patched in and repaired uh, yes please I'm gonna open the garage and go in there in a second and then we'll walk around the back um, yeah no major issues on the exterior um, if you do have any questions once you move in, we can talk about that. Garage door is in good shape. Garage door opener has safety devices built in to protect kids and pets who happen to run across and the door is opening. Your main water shut off is here inside the garage. That white handle will shut the water off to the whole house. Pressure regulating valve. Adjust the pressure. Your water pressure is at 60 pounds per square inch, which is standard. The plumbing here in Rancho Mission Viejo is all what's called PEX plumbing. It's a plastic pipe that all the builders are using nowadays. It's a pretty bulletproof system itself. You have a water softening and water filtration system. We do not check those systems. So again, you want to get all the information you can from the current owner. Fire sprinkler systems built into the home. Uh, those are what's called a wet system. There's water in the lines all of the time. You'll see exposed heads in the garage, flush heads in the rest of the house. The discs covering those are just a flat disc about two inches, two and a half inches in diameter. Um, missing one of those covers in the garage or in the house closet, which I'll show you in a second. The water in those again needs to be flushed every 10 years or so uh, just to prevent stagnant water from building up. Uh, so nothing to be done right away electrical sub panel with some more arc fault and gfci protected circuit breakers labeled as far as what they do here uh, we check the connections behind those as well uh, your tankless water heater um, you have a recirculating pump which is a water saving device 
that's going to uh, bring hot water to all of the fixtures in the house sooner rather than later, thereby saving some water in the process. Um, inline filter that protects the calcium buildup from getting into the water heater itself. Um, plus you have the soft water system. Normally they recommend flushing the water, water heater and descaling it as a process uh, once a year. But since you have the water softener and the filter, you probably only need to do that every two or three years. Uh, but check with the plumber on that and uh, just make sure you're maintaining the warranty on that. You want to have it flushed. The white pipe across the ceiling is from the water softener that just drains itself periodically and flushes out all its impurities. It does that automatically. We're going to walk to the backyard. And you see the sidewalks all in good shape. Exterior as well. Concrete block walls all in good shape. Heading towards the barbecue. Everything is working good there. All in great shape. Could stand a little cleaning, but most of them do. Uh, and then the side yard here. Back to our pool equipment from the earlier video. This is your timer control box for your low voltage or landscape lighting that you see here and all these heads. Air conditioning unit uh, has some clips down here that hold the unit to the platform. Those haven't been secured, so I would recommend having those secured. The air conditioning units at startup can twist um, just by the function of the fan, causing uh, the refrigerant lines to be damaged. So pretty simple process just to have those anchored down. Irrigation control and timer. Uh, we don't check sprinklers in general, so that's all your functions and uh, timer controls for your irrigation. We'll head into the house, go over a couple things there. Double doors look good and they're locking well. All the windows in the home, double pane vinyl, all the locking mechanisms are good. Uh, screens are in good shape. Laminate flooring or LVT flooring. This is a floating floor system, so it will have that kind of hollow sound. Hit a couple spots over here by the door. They're just a little spongier than others, but I don't think that's a major issue. The floors as a whole are pretty, or float and have some hollow sounds. Fireplace here has a protective screen on it. That's to protect the little one's hands from touching the hot glass. The igniter is that wall switch. Cabinets in here look good. All the electrical outlets and switches are working good. You have two different thermostats, one for upstairs, one for downstairs on the heating and air system. Uh, we have what's called a dual zone system. So one heating and air system controlled by two thermostats, again, one for each floor, which is, uh, makes it more efficient. You have some uh, automation controls for lighting, uh, which we don't check, but everything seems to be operating fine. Appliances are in the kitchen are working good. Refrigerator is good. I don't know if this one is staying. Uh, the water dispenser works, but for the ice maker is not. It might just be out of ice, but it doesn't look like it's currently making any, but the ice bin was empty. Cabinets are all in good shape. Countertops are good. Cooktop burner is in good shape. Exhaust fan is working good. Ducted to the outside. Ran a short cycle on the dishwasher. That's working and draining properly. Garbage disposal, sinks, all in good shape, faucet secure, and you have a little water filtration under there too. We don't check that filter, uh, but maybe the current owner has some history on how often they're changing that filtration, plus a little holding tank for that down there. And then we're gonna walk through the rest of the house. Combination smoke alarm and carbon monoxide alarms in every hallway downstairs plus smoke alarms in all the bedrooms. Missing the fire sprinkler scutcheon cover here in the coat closet. That seems to be the only one. Um, all the other ones look to be in place. Yeah. And then the downstairs hallway, powder bathroom, uh, toilet secure, sinks in good shape, no leaks there, showers in good shape. 
most all of your fan or bathroom switches are set up this way. You have an occupancy sensor switch for the lights, another light fixture on this manual switch. And then you have the exhaust fan on what's called a humidity sensor. This will actually turn the fan on even if you don't hit the switch when it picks up enough humidity and it'll shut itself off. Manually, you can operate it by hitting the bottom once and turn it back off. These fans are super quiet, so it's hard to tell if they're even on, but uh, that's just by design. Bedroom here is in good shape. Uh, I've got a little bit of damage on the inside of this first bedroom door, looks like from the pet. Uh, I may have wanted to get out really badly. Um, you've got, again, you've got smoke alarms in all the rooms, so in good shape there. A uh, little alcove here at the uh, garage door. Uh, and then heading towards the upstairs. Stair railing's in good shape. All the stair treads look good. You have a whole house fan up here. The way the whole house fan works is ideally in spring and summer when you have conditions outside that have cooled off considerably but still warm in the house you'll want to open five or six windows and turn that fan on in about 15 minutes it'll pull all the hot air out of the house into the attic and out through the attic vents and there's a on a wall switch or a remote switches for that in the laundry room behind the door and you'll see the different speeds and the timers for them to turn those on those are really nice addition laundry here cabinets are good uh, laundry is gas only as far as the heating source for the dryer you have a drip pan down there in case the laundry or washing machine were to leak and an exhaust fan here as well going into the other rooms just before in the bonus room you'll see the upstairs thermostat windows and outlets in the bonus room are good return air filters for the heating and air one here another one on the side of the whole house fan those are clean uh, but you want to recommend changing those uh, every six months or so or at least checking them also have one more here in the master bedroom master bedroom outlets and windows are in good shape master bathroom sink in good shape no leaks under the sink again all the outlets around the master or around the bathroom sinks and, and all are protected by the gfci breakers in the main electrical panel tub is in good shape windows are good showers are good toilet is secure here in the bathroom as well as another exhaust fan manual operation on that one you know, these fans are super quiet you may not even tell that they're on Attic access in the master bedroom closet. Attic looks super clean, no rodent activity up there. Uh, these attics and the roof are ventilated with a pretty bulletproof vent that prevents the uh, rodents from getting in there. We're going to head over to the first bedroom here. That's in good shape. Outlets are in good shape. Windows are good. Bathroom is in good shape. No leaks under the sink. Toilet secure. Again, humidity sensor switch for the fan and then an occupancy switch for one of the light fixtures. And then heading over here. Next bedroom. Outlets and windows are in good shape. Closet doors are good. And then last year, uh, hallway bathroom tub and shower in good shape, toilet secure, windows good, sinks in good shape. Once again, the, uh, the humidity sensor fan switch and occupancy sensor for the light fixture. So that about wraps it up, folks. Really no major issues at all. A couple little minor ones. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.